Here we have uh, Lynn. She's very evil. She wanted to give Skeletor, also known as Keldor. Apparently, he's He Man's uncle, as I was reading. She wants to give him a lap dance. Now we're gonna move this weird pig thing. Just move it over here. And then we're gonna try to copy this game by using a Wii after. Gun game. Back to the lap dance. There's my shoe. Going all the way up. And now we're gonna, gonna show you how to copy a GameCube game on your Wii. Make sure you have a USB that's formatted to FAT32. Get the homebrew already modded. And the Clean Rip app. There'll be a link in the description in the bottom there. Now we just click on Clean Rip. Click A. Now we can say no. Go on USB, FAT. So already in there to the USB. Then we're going to take our game, GameCube game, gun. For we're going to be using that for an example. We'll select no. Remember the settings? No. Not in the mood. Don't want to remember that till next time. Takes about 12 minutes. We'll uh, speed up the process here. You know, takes 12 minutes. You don't have enough time to take a bathroom break. Just stick around. You can see the magic after. And once this is done, you hit B. As in Bobby. That's terrible. Just hit B. And remove the game. And then just shut off the Wii. And then take out the USB. I'm just using an 8 gig for example. You can use 32 whatever. As long as it's formatted to FAT32. Once you put this back in your laptop, take the file, move it into a games folder on your USB and rename it gun. Leave it as a zip file which is kind of odd but that's what we're doing. And then of course safely remove the USB from your computer. Back to the Wii. Put the USB back in, doesn't matter which port, I've tried both, they both work. Turn on your Wii. Click back on the homebrew channel. Start it up. And there's also another app called Nintendo. That'll will be also a link in the description below the video. Load that up. Let it do its thing. Checking storage devices. We'll click USB and we'll find the game Gun. And then just select A and then just let it do its thing. And then Boom! You get yourself a copy game. This saves the trouble of just you know swapping disc all the time. Wear and tear. This way you just burn them once, right in there in the USB and away you go. This is the beginning of the game, Gun, the intro.
done. It's the aim. Oh, maybe he got him. Now this is a back backstory, going back to 1542 AD. Oh, he looks tired. Give that guy some water. You guys need some better shoes. Huh? Somebody turn on the fan on high again. I can't see. And who shut the light off? These horses don't like dust, you know. That's a smile. Careful. Oh. Oh. Is anybody shooting? No? Oh, I didn't see any guns. Sorry. My bad. Uh, don't hurt the horse. I would like to say sorry. Ah. Give that guy an aspirin. He's got a huge headache. Montana, 1880. My name is Colton White. My father and I hunt game for the steamboat to travel on the Missouri. Not a bad living if you can stand your old man kicking you every morning at dawn. Yeah, I like getting kicked every morning. Just kick period is... Feels awesome, just, just one big boot. The voice actors in this game are phenomenal. You get Thomas Jane there, you get Chris Christopherson. Later on, you'll get to hear Ron Perlman. Come on. And that guy from Picket Fences, the father. If anybody remembers Picket Fences, it used to be a show on TV back in the well, I'm gonna say 90s. This is a few scenes from the game. Sure took your sweet time. To play this game, you can get it on Xbox 360, you can get them on GameCube, Another tick or two, you leave PlayStation 2. You're too damn ornery to die. Well, it prides me I'd say a good version is to get on the Xbox 360. Always remember, son. There's also a PSP a version. Cut, I haven't tried that one yet. Ah, uh, here's our payday. Yep, there's our taxi. Thanks for watching. Rip a GameCube game onto a Wii. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe.